An epic adventure across the land and skies of Hyrule awaits in The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom for the Nintendo Switch. The adventure is yours to create in a world fueled by your imagination. In this sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, you'll decide your own path through the sprawling landscapes of Hyrule and the mysterious islands floating in the vast skies above. Can you harness the power of Link's new abilities to fight back against the malevolent forces that be? Question for the ages. A question that we've all questioned once or twice in our lives. So, <clears throat> long time coming. Um, I've been told that there is a cutscene that will play as soon as you beat the game up, so I wanted to make sure everything started first. Um, and look at that, there's Sleepy. We got one person showing up. That's all we need. So let's, let's do it. Let's begin this epic quest. Nintendo presents The Legend of Zelda. They needed one more thing, like Directed by Awanuma or something. Tears of the Kingdom. If you're gonna do a Something Presents, it's gotta have a little more build up than that. So, you know. We'll have, we'll have a few points off for right away. I have a lot of users on my Switch. Yeah, a few of them are just for me. So like, if I'm like, if I need to restart a game to like record footage or whatever. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. Thicker? We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Zelda is down there. She has shorter hair and Link has longer hair, it seems like. Oh wow, we immediately start playing. I don't want to go down there. Whatever it is, we can plan to look at it on our way back out. Let's continue. Alright, fine. Oh my gosh, we have so- what the heck? I didn't have that much health. Does Link have some- holy crap, he has two full- full bars. What the heck? Look at that. That's crazy. Is he gonna get Metroid primed? He's gonna, right? Hmm. He's gonna get Metroid primed by the end of this opening cutscene, I can already tell. Where's your, your floaty thing? Hang on, I need to change the uh... At least they still have that. I think he doesn't have his, um, glider. You're playing more State of Decay 2 today, is that a good game? I don't think I've People ever played it. People have been it. falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Why are people Though coming into these caverns? It almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. What could Let's go possibly solve this go wrong? They've really just thrown you into whatever conflict is about to occur, haven't they? 
I wouldn't have minded if they just kind of started you off like, we're in town, and then we hear, and then, and then maybe Zelda comes to us for the troubles. I guess we'll see what happens, though. It's hard to go wrong with a zombie game. Well, it's not true. You can totally go wrong with a zombie game, but there's a lot of fun ones. I think. Yes? The Master Sword. Hey, I wasn't down there. I was up on that wall. It must be sensing something. Yeah, it senses when there's great evil nearby. Ever since the end of the Calamity, the castle has fallen into neglect. But I never could have imagined anything like these tunnels were hiding here. We must be careful as we move deeper. Wow, over a hundred hours. That's a lot of time to put in. Link, look here. <sighs> These are ruins from an ancient civilization. Wait, something is written here. It is written, only Link can rescue Zelda. Might these ruins be from the Zonai? The who went now? Probably not. The like spider webs. Swing sword? We're gonna be attacking things? Yo, I have the master sword. Hell yeah. Oh, look here. Roll the gun. I actually don't remember how to, uh. How to go to my items. These carvings, I'm sure they're Zonai in origin. I've seen designs like these in my studies. Who's taking pictures? You hear that? Sounds like someone taking snapshots. Oh, it's her. I'm blind. Uh, the Zonai are said to have lived long ago in the time earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization in the sky. <laughs> Many history books tell us about the Zonai, but none gives us the full picture. Much is still unknown about them. <gasps> the statue's there. Are they bird people? Is this what the Zonai look like? They ha seem so much different than us and such large ears. How did the ruins from a civilization in the sky end up here beneath the castle? Looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Well, we don't know if they looked like that for sure. I mean, if you think of, like, the Egyptians, they had lots of, like... Statues and monuments that... Little... Different looking. Here we go, Zelda. Ow. How dare they? I couldn't swing my blade from up there. I guess I was in too small of a space. You are not hurt, are you, Link? I'm a little hurt. <gasps> Look at these murals. Hey, look, it's Ganon. The written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Ganon was never called the Demon King. Get out of here. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? 
You'd be the king of evil. <gasps> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. It has and the seven dragon bowls. Look like Hylians. They do. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Uh. <gasps> maybe they're just colliding. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. Oh my god. I'm a These god. These murals think? tell a similar story. And That's if they why are accurate, I deserve to rule everyone. The Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish the kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. And then this, it shows the demon king. I don't know who the demon king is. I only him. know Ganon. <clears throat> if the creature <laughs> depicted here really I does represent the demon king, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. Find interesting this how the imprisoning war and the events that led Sorry, up to I shouldn't it. talk too much through the cutscene. This is a huge discovery. Unless it's about the cutscene. <laughs> All right then. Now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. But she was already using that earlier. It's, so it's weird to, to like record. reintroduce it. You point it in. and click. Oh. Silly well, game. Looks already like the rest of the that. murals are obscured. <laughs> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Maybe we'll find some morons up Link. ahead. Let's keep moving deeper. Yeah, we're giving Breath of the Wild another chance, you know. Hmm, this almost looks like you could bomb it. But I have no bomb. Hey, Bimmy. Oh my gosh. You're doing some crazy tricks. Whoa, his stamina recovered way faster than it the uh, first game. How did I lose half a heart? Ganon attacked me. He said I was going the wrong way and the big Ganon face popped out and pushed me back. What is this place? Let's continue, Link, but we must be extremely careful. Oh, yeah. Not here. <sighs> Zelda, what's the point of me saying not yet if you're not gonna let me not yet? Not here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not here. What the heck, there's a log? I'm gonna find the hidden orb. Okay, Zelda's jealous of me climbing, so we're just gonna have to... He's very... He's like a control freak, really, if you think about it. What is that? What do you mean pacing yourself with Zelda? 
Ew. Why is Ganon all shriveled? What happened? The shriveled Ganon dropped a booger. That's nasty. Put that in the trash. You're not Jay, I'm Jay. Who took my booger? It's like one of those campfire horror stories. My booger! Yeah, I was right. You got freaking Metroid primed. Never saw that coming. Did the Master Sword break? Oh, awesome. Was that the sword that seals the darkness? The blade that shatters so easily against my power cannot save you from me. That's not Ganon. He must be his brother, Billy. You Billy Dwarf. carries that fragile sword, a link. Raru placed his faith in you. And that was all you could do. How do you yeah. know our names? I'm Billy. I know everyone's name. I have a big phone book. I can't believe Billy Dwarf's way stronger than Ganon ever was. Jadakiss? My ancestor? Across the land. It seemed like they did anything to like trigger him awakening. You see, Link got a little sunburn on his arm. So we don't get to spend any time with Zelda before just losing it right at the start. It's kind of lame. They they really could have had like an opening section where you're just like in Hyrule or in a village together or something for a bit before you head off to this underground area. Seems like they kind of just threw you right in there. Just like sudden, no, like when they were already, I was talking about this when it started and we were already under high, like underground searching for some danger thing. That was, that to me is, they're through right in. It, it would have been, Nicer if, like, we weren't just immediately on this, like, mission. Like, if instead we kind of just started off, like, at any other day. I'm surprised they wouldn't, considering how big these games tend to be, but I guess they just wanted to kill Zelda ASAP. Look, the gummy worms of destiny. That, that was actually the original title of this game before Miyamoto made them just it. The Hawaiian, Hawaiian Punch is gonna make everyone a radical surfer. That's gonna be, instead of like Moblins, we have to fight surfboarding demon. Mm -hmm. I <laughs> Why did Link steal Zelda's hair? Did anyone else notice that? Zelda had short hair. Link has longer hair. Ah, Link. Finally you wake. It's me, your hand. Call me Hand Junior. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. You talked to the hand all the time. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. 
Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. Link the Stampede. But Banana, there weren't any sights. It was just a dark cave with gibberish on the walls. Oh, our stamina bar is gone. We had a big old... We had like three full circles. And more hearts than I've ever seen. What are your items? I can't remember if there's any. Punch through Link, you can do it. Oh, hang on. Oh look, it's a master. It's all better. Hell yeah. Good as new. The Decade Master Sword. Its sacred power has been diminished after being ravaged by the gloom. Oh no! The bloom from Wind Waker HD is back for revenge. After all these years. Nothing can defeat me, I am the <laughs> But you can't run without putting your sword away? I don't remember that being the case. Because when you hold run, he immediately sheaths his sword. Was that... Did Link do that in, the, in Breath of the Wild? I legitimately don't remember that. I ran all the time. I just forgot. That's why the torch would go out. Lime butter. Okay, let's see, let's count how old this tree is. Let's see. one, two, three. At least twelve. This room isn't very climbable apparently. I think don't touch that. Probably dangerous. Activated. I wonder if I can. I can't grab onto that either. You can only just jump on it and fall off. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, you can't climb this. Like it wasn't ready. But that you can. climb on some of parts of this
think you can make it on the other side. harder to tell what you can climb in this game compared to Breath of the Wild. Swing. There we go. So they do still have that. Because sometimes you like just like immediately repositioning your uh, camera. Ow. <laughs> Lightning water even from a great high will prevent you. jump. Oh, it's a chest. Ow, Link, why would you do that? Archaic legwear. Oh, I was trying to do that earlier and it was... What the heck, that's not what it looked like in the picture. I got ripped off. I thought we were underground. What the heck? Didn't she say this was under Hyrule? Huh? Is Hyrule... F Sorry, Hyrule Castle, I meant. Is Hyrule Castle floating? They forgot to mention that part. Kind of... You can't climb on anything in this game. I thought that was like the main point of Breath of the Wild. What happened? Uh, I watched the cutscene where um, where Link was trying to fight Billy Dwarf, and Billy Dwarf made his hearts and his stamina go down, and then he was like. Your master sword broken now, ha ha ha. Um, forget what happened after that. Oh, Zelda fell down a big hole. That I do recall. Uh -oh. Why is why is Link moving like a robot? Did you see like slightly adjusting and literally like, he started Chuck E. Cheese roboting? According to this CD case, it says the adventures is yours to create. You'll decide your own path. But so far, this game's just been completely on the rails, devoid of creativity. Devoid of choice or freedom. Nothing but just what Miyamoto wanted. Billy Dorf lifted the castle with anti bloom. I guess I missed that part. Did we live amongst the frogs now?
Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember, uh... I don't remember the castle being lifted. I can't believe they just stole the plot of the original Paper Mario. But a little disappointing to... Like a stick. It's more powerful than the Master Sword. Hey, look, you could drop your weapons. Um, you can drop your weapons from the quick swap. That's what I wanted all these years. And everyone said, You're dumb, Jay. Why would anyone want that? And sure enough, they added it. Interesting, there's another change I'm noticing. When you jump into the... Okay, I didn't do it that time, but... Yeah, so if you sprinted into a jump into water, you, you get back the energy you just got, that, that you just lost from sprinting. That's neat. It also seemed like, um, another thing that I thought was weird in the original is, um, say you've upgraded your stamina enough so you have a second ring around it, you have to wait until the, both the second and middle rings are fully, uh, recharged before you can start running again if you, like, used it all up. Which means the higher your stamina, your max stamina, the higher the punishment. What like like so suddenly there's a downgrade in a sense that you have to wait longer for your stamina to recharge if you use it all up. But I think in this version, in this game, uh, at the very start when you had two rings, it looked like it would recharge much faster. Which makes me think that maybe uh, that's another thing that they've changed. Well, whatever the case, in this one it seems like they've actually gone the route of matching it so that it it, it takes the same amount of time. Because at the start, uh, when I when I had the the two extra rings, it was recharging much faster than it did in the original in Breath of the Wild. So I don't know. It seems like every time I I critique something, they they added it in in this version. I think they just watched my stream. And they changed everything. That's my, uh, my current theory. I'm seeing what I want to see. So you're saying I want the game to be good. I mean, well gosh, I guess I'm just a monster. I didn't see what I wanted to see. I just was like, oh, this seems like it's recharging much faster. I'm just saying, I'm just commenting on what I'm seeing happening. So like I specifically thought they were going to do that. What is this area? It's just a big empty zone. I don't know if I'm supposed to be like looking for something. Is that a shrine? I've waited for you. I am steward construct, and Zelda left something for you. Wait, how did Zelda know to leave something to you when you were up in the sky, which apparently we've never been to before? This is Hoorah Pad. I am told it is invaluable. And don't sell it on eBay. That's just the Sheikah Slate. I already had one of those. But this one's designed to look like a 
Switch instead of a Wii U. Dara does it. Garden of Time. I mean, I'm glad I went over this way because I almost jumped down and I would have missed this completely. Because I, I actually have no idea where I'm supposed to be going right now. I don't know, that seems dangerous if we really needed to find this guy. Because I was literally a split second from jumping down this way. Right over here. I don't know. Seems a little risky. Make me a bridge. Make me a bridge as fast as you can. Make me a bridge like the gingerbread man. What the heck? It's that one dragon that you guys made me shoot over and over again. I'm Blink, I have rock. Hello, you seem to be new. Be wary of soldier constructs. Soldier constructs are those of us given strict orders to protect this land. The Zona who created us directed them to eliminate trespassers. Oh, I've seen a bunch of those in the last game. They shoot lasers that apparently you can parry. Or so I've been told. Crucial to maintain proper distance and target your opponent swinging haphazardly will not yield results. We practice targeting on me if you want. Oh, but well, please do not actually attack. Oh, baseball bat. I mean, I, 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 I did not notice a path, so... This seems like a rare apple. Put an apple in a jar. Were they trying to make wine? Sample in a jar? Hidden far away, someday I may fall. Hell of metal tank, bowling in the Gotcha. Okay. Close, come up. So we just have to go talk to these guys. Apparently. Oh no, that must be a soldier. I mean, I feel bad because they're just doing their jobs. I actually don't see that, that thing. Threatening. I guess I should practice though. Ready. This did seem to, you know, at least have more reasonable enemies to start you off with to actually like help you learn the gameplay. I think that would have been better than how the other one was. Are you going to buy the strategy guide that's releasing for this next month? Probably not. I don't think I'm going to have the game still by then. What the hell is that? A llama? A bird? In the... I thought it was a lava. I, I didn't realize it was dead already. I'm, I, uh, I was just hitting. There are lots of lily pads here, but not a frog in sight. Bernama? Oh, the 
this out of the map. Yellow colored leaf. Yeah, I'm renting it. I've actually had it since like Saturday. I've just been trying to hold off so other people would have a chance to play it. Um, which felt really unnatural for me to do. Like I try to like use Gamefly as efficiently as possible and I just had a game sitting here for almost a week just on my desk. A hot new game too that I probably could like get. That's fine, it doesn't matter. Dude, can I use this rock to attack mine and I don't see any of those robos by though. Oh, there's one. have a bow now. Apparently Zelda's up here, isn't that what that guy said? I thought Zelda died. I thought she got evaporated by a laser beam. The Temple of Time? Okay. This green rock is a temple. Wait, the Temple of Time wasn't up here. The temple of Time, wasn't the Temple of Time on the, um, the plateau in the first game? The Great Plateau? Delusional. I'm pretty sure that the Temple of Time was on the in the Great Plateau. There was no Great Plateau. Whatever that starting area was called. Oops. Uh. Temple of Times in this game. Okay. That's not real. Even I know that one's a big fib. A big Fibonacci sequence. On slip sliding off on me. I'm trying to jump onto that so I can climb up. Good spot to jump from. Just go to that wall.
If only there was another way to get up there. Um... Well, hang on a second. My tactic might just work. Give it a little. Effort or two. to that wall right there. Ah. Uh. Another place to climb up from? Oh, there's stairs right over there. I didn't see that somehow. Thought we were gonna have to climb up that some way. a little tougher. The eye glows when it's about to swing. Oh, okay, does it? I'll have to keep an eye out for that. That door will open only to those with sufficient power. And you're weak. I'm sorry. I did not intend to startle Quite you. Quite pathetic, actually. It was I that spoke to you earlier. That arm originally belonged to me. I am Raru. What the heck is this goat person? Raru. Goatman. Big ear goat. Forgive me for appearing to you in this manner. Unfortunately, I no longer have a physical form. Or do you? In any case, that arm should allow you to open this door. It seems to have lost the power to do so. You might be able to restore it, but you would need to enter a place filled with sacred light. He must have short arms if his arm is Why able to fit on Link's arm. On this island? Like, proportionally. The shrines. That's a lot of yes, earrings. I'm sure I guess when you got big ears, you got a lot of rings. Go get to that big egg. That's a Dimitri for emblem. Okay, so I need to go get to that big egg that one guy told me. Oh. Why didn't Link bring his glider with him? He, he took that thing everything 
everywhere with him. First game. Room. I've met that before. The Co Shrine. Well, the shrines look different in this one. Beat the shrine to unlock me another earring. This is a shrine of light. Long ago, I filled these places with light that purges evil. I believe this light will restore an ability your right arm has <laughs> lost. Now the next time. Ultra hand, can't call it that. It's called the Ricci Grabby. Grab and move objects, rotate them, and stick them to other objects. Hmm. Was you to do the thing I just said. With it, you'll be able to build a great number of things. Really, anything you can imagine. Hmm. Ultra hand received the blessing from Brian. Seems familiar. How do I make that fall forward? Oh wait. There we go. Oh. Ok. 
Okay. I only really needed one of those. I said something about sticking links together, yeah. Is there to hold the hook? So they just use decoy objects sometimes, so you figure out which which ones are actually important. Wait a minute, this dialogue sounds familiar. Wait, we offer this light. Actually, that is new, I think. Is he going to beat this shrine without actually learning how to use the ability? I'm, I'm pretty sure we learned how to use it. It was pretty much how I remember. Well, it wasn't... Well, you had more con rotational control, which is definitely improvement. Unless you had rotational control in the other one that I didn't never figured out. But either way, that's so good. Look, we have a new orb. I guess diving from the sky is going to be a recurring event. Oh. Oh, I thought he was going to read the dialogue. You did very well getting through that shrine, and you, you've you restored an ability. This is wonderful. If you visit and complete two more shrines... Okay, so it is like the Great Plateau in the first one. You should be able to open the door to the Temple of Time. Mm. You may want to mark the shrines in the distance with pins, then you'll never lose track of where they are. Right. I remember that. Yeah, I figured out that you're supposed to use the the uh, the uh, hook, and you put the hook on the rope or whatever the the rope-like thing, and then you hang onto the hook. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if I find more. eggs, then I can go more of these, but I don't see anything. The fool's way? Why is that, why is that the fool's, how is that the fool's way? I don't understand. What, what did I do wrong this time, guys? Oh, there's one over here. Oh, and the other one's over here. There we go. Yeah. 
I didn't bother learning the main functionality of Ultra Hand. What what was I supposed to do? So you can't glide in this one, right? So I need to find a different way down. That's kind of a pain in the butt. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if I can make that jump. Stick the hook to the board so you can ride across. There was a way to like, was there like a spot in the board for the hook to go into? I didn't actually, I, didn't, I actually didn't, did not notice that. His eye was, then it looked like it was glowing there. Okay. Oh, I see. But it seems like by the time it's glowing, it's already too late. Yeah, like you need to kind of time it like right as it's about to glow. Or like at the same time the glow is initiating. That's what it seems to be. Try to read the ability descriptions next time. Oops. I'm not sure where to go for that. So you're not supposed to do like this? Oops, I'm not. Well, that's why there's more hooks, right? But that looks like it works, right? These boards don't look like they have spots for the hooks to hook onto. Yeah, I don't see holes on it. I'm guessing the one in the shrine did. Hover over a board and press A when it says attach. What the hell?
This is in the way. Oh god damn it, I didn't mean to do that. Unstick it by grabbing the object and wiggling the right stick. Okay. But then it doesn't go though. And if the hook is too long. If I set it here, I feel like it's not gonna. Like I'm not gonna make it. What? Okay. <laughs> well, now there's no more hooks left. So do I just- I just can't go over here now, or what? Or can you just climb on this? Okay. Guess I could have just did that the whole time. Maybe what I should have just uh, like stayed with just using the one hook, but then I should have grabbed the hook when they started going away. So some objects are just tilting naturally, yeah? Like, there's nothing you can do to fix that. Because I noticed that earlier, too. Like, one of the boards I picked up in the in the shrine... Um, ...was straight, and the other one was tilted. What's this guy up here? Fix your gate forward. Face it head on. Pardon me, I was absorbed in my wood cutting. Sure. The practice of chopping down trees to create logs. Logs can be combined to assemble platforms. You can also chop them down further to make wood. Lumber as many uses. That is why I come here daily to chop wood. No, 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 but like, I will rotate. Some objects that I rotate are stuck in a tilted position. So they'll tilt, they'll turn, but they won't, they won't fix that little, here, I'll see if I can find another example. I'd have to actually find something that's tilted though. Maybe if I can move one of these logs down. Alright, so this log I can I can tilt. No problem. But once it it's turned. Oh no, that one's straightened out. I don't know. I, I've I've I would had some objects earlier though where it, they were just like stuck on a on like a on a tilted axis axis like a planet or something. Yeah, these ones seem to just straighten themselves out though. 
No, no, no. You could turn it horizontally and vertically. I know that. You could do this way, and you could do that way. But sometimes it's like in between. It's like in between this and this. I don't know how to explain this to you any further. <laughs> Look, you see this? You see how I, I have it turned this way? You see how I have it turned this way? You'll have it to where it it's in between these two positions. So you see how you can put it in this position and you put it in this position? It, sometimes an object is in between those two positions. So when you try to put it straight, it'll be in, in the middle somewhere. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, what am I looking for again? Oh, over there. You fix it via turning it and moving yourself. I mean, I don't know how to do it, I've already tried. log although I don't think any of these logs are long enough oh wait this. oh wait there's a freaking boat right here Might be it right there. I don't see the red laser in the sky. It's behind those trees. Oh, there it is. I saw a red part on it too. I must protect myself. Is it being attacked? Okay, so here's a cooking spot. My next batch will be tasty. Pardon me for not noticing you. I was absorbed in preparing my next meal. You don't recall having seen before today. Doubly apologize for my inattentiveness. I actually, I actually remember how to cook. So, now is there a cooking mode we can just go into? No. That was another thing I was hoping for that there would just be like a straight up cooking screen, rather than having to take the stuff out manually.
fallen wird. Nothing wrong with it, I just don't prefer it. It's just my own personal preference. I, I would really just would like if there was just a cooking screen where you did all the cooking at. is this? Was the blue one closer? Maybe I was supposed to go to the blue one. I'm getting pretty far away from that now. But you could teleport between temples, huh? So, I mean between shrines. It's like a backpack. Oh, it was a backpack. This is awful. Where's my friend? You can see me. Uh, yeah. Got separated. My friend's sending up a smoke signal. I can't wait to catch up. I'm so tired though. I can't move. Uh. You really need to reach your friend, huh? Okay. Maybe after I do this temple? Once I get there, then I'm gonna have to try to build something else entirely to go back this way. Unless I just run across it. I'm gonna try not to just run across, I'm gonna try to at least this. I have to physically take him there? Um. Oh, you can pick him up? Wait, how do you pick him up? Wait, you can use this to pick him up? Oh, well if I put him on the thing, then I don't have to worry about me getting there. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So... Oh, it straightened out by itself, actually. I didn't even do that. That was just random. <laughs> Here he goes. Attach the hook to the log and attach him to the either. Why did I need the log at all? There he goes. Jump out down here safely, yeah. Uh. 
Well, I was thinking I don't have to go with him because I was the last hook. Reunited at last, thanks. I'd like to give you something. Let me guess, a Korok seed. Oh, two of them. Okay, so... That's funny because I remember saying there... Like, some of the things you had to do... In the first game, you'd think... It would vary the type of reward you get. So this one actually... Uh, was an example of that. You got two Korok seeds instead of just the one. can't take credit for everything? What do you mean? There we go. Oh look, and when you're on this, if you just stand still, you don't lose any. In fact, you just regenerate anything that you do lose. So this must be intended. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that banana, but good point. I guess that was another thing that I did bring up. They must have implemented all these new changes really fast since my stream came just like... Like, shortly before this game came out. Am I in the wrong place? I'm supposed to go around the other side. Can't tell if those connect. They do connect. God damn it. I was going the wrong way the whole time. Or wait, hang on. Can you go around this way? Okay, 
Okay, so you can't out swim that. Well, there was that boat from way earlier, but I don't... Well, maybe there was a way to bring that all the way here, but I... I didn't think about that. Sure, I'm sure I probably could have brought it with the hook somehow. But I wasn't thinking about that at the time. I was just trying to figure out how to get across a gap. Once a firefly, I need those to upgrade my Sheikah armor. Are you gonna want me to like build a boat or something? Oh god damn. I don't know how to build things. I didn't mean to do that, but... As long as it goes, right? I'm glad it doesn't have to be like an actual like perfect boat because or else I would be screwed. We might have some hope here, yet. <laughs> Kinda cold in this area, if only I had a shirt. Are we gonna find a shirt? Or... Is that a... Oh, it's a non-robot enemy. What is this? It looks like a sharpened rock. special about it but look at it how do you know there's nothing special about it maybe we'll get bombs in this shrine and then we can bomb that wall but have you 100 percented this game So you've only 100%ed the game. I mean, that's okay for an amateur, but someday you'll, you'll reach Frankie's level. Ah. Made it here. Now then extend your right hand. Let me guess, we make bombs now?
Wow. Hey, I didn't claim that I was a professional. Add something to an equipped weapon or shield to enhance it. You can undo the fuse that will destroy whatever. Hmm. I went bomb. When it said fuse, I thought it meant a bomb fuse, and I was like, oh hell yeah, a bomb. Hmm. He he explained it pretty clearly. The other one, I didn't realize you could like super glue. This sword... Rusty. That's a good sword though, I don't think I want to waste it on that. I'll combine it with this sword and then I'll keep the rusty corner. Uh... <laughs> what? Okay, that's not exactly fused like I was imagining. I thought like it would take on the like the uh, characteristics of the boulder, maybe. But I didn't realize it would just do a freaking. I might need those for. I might, I might need it for a uh, torch. Not like I have any fire arrows at this point. Did I literally just get the ability to make fire arrows at this point? Oh, I have to draw my bow first? What- wait, what tried to explain it to me? That guy didn't say anything about this part, did he? Two menus that popped up. Are you talking about the fire fruit? Because I just assumed it was the one that makes your heat. What? Because we did what? Didn't we have fire fruit in the first game? And the fire fruit makes your it makes you stay warm in the cold. No, that's what I thought it was. Oh, I've like been trained to just skip whenever the controller pops up because it's always like the most basic thing, like. Lock onto your opponent or crouch or something. Whenever I see like that pop up, I was like, oh, it's like, here's how you, you breathe air. Hey, he has that arm too. We should be friends. Oh, what the hell? Not fair. Clearly this is up here for me to use. Ow! These hurt me too? This game's mean.
Wait a second. Raise attack power and high temperatures. Oh, okay. So it does have an effect. I could go for chilies. Baby back rib. I want my baby back rib. Chilies, barbecue, ribs. What well, baby back sauce? No, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to fuse the spikes, but I'm trying to remember how to do it. Okay, hang on a second. No, wait, we want another weapon. Fuse has already been used on this? Wait, the stone axe has been fused? Okay, I didn't realize that those had gone through a fusion already. Also, hi, Kevin Hankins, and hello, Sean. Why are they called baby back ribs when they don't even use real babies? I mean, as far as we know. Wait a second. So the stone axe does actually turn into a stone axe, whereas the stone sword just is a sword with a stone at the end of it. That's pretty silly. Okay, uh, I'll use a thick stick. By me. Ah, I thought that would have counted. That seemed way early. Construct bow. You can't climb these, I'm guessing. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna use the one that's our I already have that's almost dead. I think. This is what I was gonna now, hang on a second. You have some flammable floor, which makes me think. Oh yep, and there's some of these up here too. Hey, have reason to burn this. Nothing appears to have happened. Uh, you can throw the fruit. Uh, you mean drop it? Another shrine in the books. Hey sword, I heard there's this thing you can do when you're hungry that magically makes the hunger go away. You hold R and then press up on the D-pad. I got one more baby back. Gilly, baby back. Gilly's back. Link. Has come to town. Come to save the Princess Zelda. Was gone and took her away. And now the children play. But they will. Things save the day. Hallelujah. The heck is that? That looks dangerous. Can I get a shirt, please? Do you have a shirt for me? A gift from a Zonai construct designed to be worn on a belt. It looks dangerous to just be having on your belt. I don't know about that. It's literally inches away from stabbing Link's wrist as already. It's required to make use of the tools known as Zonai devices. I cannot demonstrate its utility because there are no Zonai devices. I have associates on the other side of that cave system. They can teach you how to use this. 
Hope the energy solid provider is useful. Okay, well anyway. Oh, that this is gonna be a cave. That like led into something. Like a tunnel. Five arrows, I already have arrows. That showed up on a heart piece. What is this? The opening of Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath from the album Black Sabbath. Said the cave system's down there, right? No water for me to dive into. I really hope we get our glider soon. This no having a glider business. It's no fun at all. Oh look, they're fighting. Who's gonna win? <laughs> This is the ultimate showdown. Of ultimate. Hey, don't get me involved. Good guys, bad guys, in. Sorry, yeah, I can't. And only one will survive. I won't. Yeah, there's no way they would not include the freaking gliders from uh, the original. That would be like taking the portal gun out of Portal 2. A long stick. Angel sing out an immaculate chorus. Down from the heaven, descended Ganon Horus. Delivered a kick. Shatter bones to the crotch of the leaf. I'm playing green Mario. Is he okay? <laughs> My guy, you put you put a piece of wood on your sword. I'm sorry, that's funny. Three of you. Oh no, my shield's on fire. How do I. Dang it. Oh, am I dead? I'm not familiar with this device that you speak of. Oh my god, that did a lot of damage. Holy crap. Okay, I guess I can't make fun of his wood board weapon. Guys get a lot tougher when there's more than one of them. Wait, I could just hit him. I don't know why I thought that was gonna act like a shield. I could have just been hitting him that whole time. I was legitimately like waiting. Uh, yeah, okay. He sure did blow me off the cliff. Oh, there's a chest. 
It's treasure. A soldier reap. Okay, I will replace this with. Oh, there's a cooking spot. I was just about to say, I wish there was a cooking spot around here. Alright, let's see here. <sighs> Captain Construct One Horn or I Horn? Yaoi paddles were a thing at anime cons in the 2000s where people would spank strangers with paddles. Yeah, that seems a little unchill. Who would think that that was a, an idea that should occur? If you cook wood, you get a special food. That doesn't sound right. Um, Alright, let's just... Uh, Maybe I'll do a couple of these. I, I want to save some of these for fire arrows, though. But I'll, I'll do a couple of these. Oh no! I never cooked that! I thought I... So okay, I'm... No! I... Oh my god. I am already pressing the wrong buttons now. I was trying to combine this with the mushroom that I just cooked. But... Okay. So, when I heard the noise... Because the noise you make when you hold something, it makes that noise when you press X, but you don't start holding anything yet. So when I heard the noise, I thought I had picked, I had thought I had picked it up already. That's kind of misleading. Because in the any other situation, when you press hold, it makes that noise. Why would they do this to me? Damn it! I'm just gonna hang on to this. No. Oh, fish. Okay, we'll mix it with that fish then. I don't think wood is usually tasty. Maybe sometimes. Why would they trick people like that? Energizing steam fish. The energizer bunny's gonna get replaced. Oh look, this is kind of going towards the blue as well. On side cave. Enemies. Do you see what I see? Do you see what I see? Rock salt, my favorite. I could probably use the boulder weapon and knock that down real quick, but I want to save that for like more important bouldery things. Oh my god, what the hell's going on right now? Hit an enemy heads with the arrow to perform a critic. Does he have health? I can't even tell what's going on. What the hell? What happened? Booble gem. Oh, I guess I killed it. I thought it like shrunk for a second.
flint. That's important. You can attach the eyes to arrows for lock on arrows. Ooh, gold. Rock salt. My favorite. None of those other ones matter. So much stuff in this cave. <laughs> you were gonna scream why? I don't understand. <laughs> Giant bright boy. I don't understand what there would be to scream about. Is the Master Sword unfusable? <laughs> you found your name on the dark web? How much did it cost? Finally! Goodness gracious, about time we get a shirt. It's only two hours into the dang game. Why is it like Andre the Giant style where it's not covering like half of his chest? Sure do contain arrows. The only thing about this one, it's funny because the changing your your power is uh, more intuitive for me because I would always press L in the original game for some reason, and I would like that's where I was always pulling out bombs by accident. Who the heck is that? And um. In this one, they made it L instead of whatever it was in the first game. But the only thing is that there's like a slight delay in this one that I feel like wasn't in the first one. I don't know if anyone else has experienced that. Maybe they'll fix that in the patch. Hello. Mm. Steward contracts were the first to be built. After that, we crafted others suited to different roles. Culinary contracts, maker contracts, you'll find all sorts of them still active in this place. Some became so skilled within their specialties that they surpassed us. We began to learn from them instead. Hmm. We take the time to talk to them. Okay. okay, teach me everything. We have need of these parts. There are more materials and water available for your use. Uh... My bad. What is this, an air conditioning? <laughs> Am I supposed to be going again? Oh, this way. Well, they want me to make another bow. <laughs>
this. Oh gosh, it's there we go. I mean to put that in the middle, but that's okay. Here. Like, I don't need one of them stewards to fan explain to me, okay? I know how fans work. I'm no dummy. Ready to go. Ready to go. Just have to go. Fell off my boat. My fan fell off. Ah, look at that. Piece of cake. And you doubted me. Yeah, you sure did. This changes nothing. Well, that boat served its purpose. bell again. You know, I realize this game doesn't have weather, which is another improvement. You go in this direction, it's a very late to be traveling. This mountain path is especially rugged. You might take your environment into account when traveling. Uh, I think I know how to climb. I'm good. But I appreciate that for people who haven't played Breath of the Wild. Dude, always sunny in Hyrule Delphia. Hey, you were supposed to break. Why did they keep that weather bar down there? Probably they forgot to remove it. <laughs> Happens all the time in video games. Okay. I will combine. <laughs> this is why I want a cooking screen, please. Oh, come on now. Really? Usually I get them in there. There's no flame to cook. Well, yeah, but I, I'm gonna put the food in there, and then I'm gonna put the fire. But you can't even drop the food in there first. Come on now, Nintendo, you don't make no sense. All right, good thing I saved a couple of these. Everyone knows you can't put things in a bowl unless it's on fire first. I should have known.
could have saved an arrow by throwing it? What do you mean? I have a bunch of arrows, but then I just got it back anyways. You can throw arrows without the bows in this game. We're slowly but surely getting closer to the blue. Hold R then press up on the D-pad to select an item. gonna take this eye to the dome. You take this. Is that what happened? He just died in the water? I'm surprised the blue choo choo would die in water. You'd think they would. Whoa. I was gonna avoid them, but there's a chest of Open! Open! Okay. Come on. Come on. Freaking chest won't open. Do I need to find a key? Like... Okay, they're actually not that tough. It's a combat chest. Okay, so in this game, some chests, you have to kill certain enemies and then it'll open. I'm gonna drop this on your head and you're gonna say, Owie! Oh, you're supposed to say owie. Just get it right. Whoa, spiky bat. I got a weak weapon there. Damn it, I pressed the wrong button. No. Okay, Wait, I thought I used this mushroom. Oh, right, no, I must have picked another one. What to say? Oh, he was trying to copy my technique. Did you see that? I thought he was being slick. I oh, I made the spiky bat. Of course I did. I knew that. I remember back when I did that, and it was one of my most greatest accomplishments. I would never forget. Donkey Kong style. Doom, doom, doom. 
Oh, hang on. I have a better idea. Pick this up. I have a genius freaking idea. So when I need to change direction... Oh, is there not a fourth one? Okay. Re... Better idea. When I need to slow down... I can hit the front. It's your boy! But they all activate it once. That's kind of lame. What? Connect a controller that can read amiibo. No. There's a freaking amiibo. Take this thing off. Can't remove this thing. Well, we hit a dead end anyways, I guess. This cave is especially dark. You will need a, a light in order to proceed. Uh, I do have them. Do not know of them. What? Do you have any of these seeds? Yes. Oh, so you haven't heard of them. What? Are you insane? Uh, do I have any amiibos? No, I don't think I have any. Mike had his his Wolflink Midna amiibo here for like a year or something, and then he finally took it. Go to the amiibo gazebo. What if I were to purchase fast food and disguise it as my own cookie? The Nintendo World wristband functions as an amiibo. Oh, really? So would it be like Luigi? Cause I'm cause I got the Luigi wristband. Hang on, how do I put this? A wooden box club? I didn't make that. I didn't make that, right? Did I make that? I did not make that. Zonite. Zonite. Okay, I knew I didn't make that. I really would have gone crazy at that point. Okay, those don't work very well compared to the fire arrow. Better if I had a torch. Look at the dead. Here's what we're gonna do. I set on fire. 
we're going. There we go. Well, actually, I need to put this away so I can break the. Shoot the uh, the zonite seed or whatever. I mean, the arrow works better, I think. Oh, you can just hold it. I don't even need a bow. Is that it? I just went in there mining for that. I thought this was going to um, beat somewhere. Yeah, this looks like a dead end, so now that I'm looking at the map. If you go to the Amiibo Gazebo, you can get stat boosters unlocking effects. You can shoot it or throw it. Okay, so you have to throw it. Oh, but then I can't pick it up after. Okay. Let's see. The zone I must be pretty good if there's so much of it. I hope so, because I'm using up all my boulder. I'm surprised the lava wasn't lighting things up more, because lava is bright. Uh, I was focused on processing zonite. Are you unfamiliar with it? This is the zonite I mentioned. It's a unique mineral that can be mined far beneath the below. Base deposits of it in this island as well, but they're limited to this cave. Our society flourished by processing this substance into other materials. Smelt it like a smelt egg. I think I have some of those. Uh, okay. I think I actually have some of these. Already. Yeah, right here. I'm not sure if I have any of these though. Them down and win. Yep. I've not given permission to take those. Could it be that you've forgotten to bring Zonite capsules? What? Why are they introducing like a hundred million different things right now? Like Jesus. Can we skip over all the Zonite stuff? I have some. I do keep spares in case of emergency. Let me know if you have the kind of emergency spares. Oh, More over here. I can help you, buddy. Your behavior is a threat? I was trying to help you. Hey, previously had ample resources. Gradually. Okay, well, both. Zonite. 
Ammonite power. Do I have a minecart I need? Diamonds yep. right here. I'll use my handy dandy. Get the orbs? No, he said I couldn't have them. He said I did not give you permission. I'm not going to trick you. Trick you. I'm not going to let you trick me to stealing. I'm doing the good run. Alright, let's... this oh I'm doing a fool's run I've not given you permission to take those Is it the first time he wasn't given them? Okay, I already know about the fans. Okay, so those were fans. I didn't realize that those were fans. I thought he was just... I thought that was just the thing that I already had. There's, there's like so many things called Zonai, I can't keep track of what's what. I don't even know what any of them do. Why would the game let you lie? <laughs> Oh, you can just tell them that you have the thing you don't have yet. Uh. Alright. Uh, attach. Attach. Oh, look, facts here. Please help, what are you talking about? Things, we're, everything's going great. I think. Except for that one little thing that just happened. Oh gosh. Look fact, I'm already like halfway through the game. I think I think everyone in like banana and sword and stuff are just scared because I'm going so fast. It's like you know, intimidating them a little. But it's okay, they don't have to be scared. <laughs> The time bell- I knew I was hearing a bell. The time bell that sounds from the Temple of Time rings at a set time each morning and evening. Along with the contracts, we woke to the sound of the bell. Heard it in the evening, we knew it was time to rest. Hmm. Also played a part of our traditional ceremonies. In a way, it was this place's beating heart. It stirs fond memories of its top sirloin. I think I'm going the right way. I need to reach my friend. Oh, another one of these guys? Why are they so lazy? Why did- what happened to the Koroks that they got so lazy since the last game? Okay. I already know what to do. Where did I leave my mine cart? Uh, I didn't do the Ultra Hand tutorial without learning how to use the Ultra Hand. I, I, I uh, just, I did it my own way. Wait, so if you can get fans out of little orbs, does that mean you can turn the fans into the orbs to take with you later? Or is that not something you can 
Well, now hang on a second here. Why, why are these Koroks having these giant old backpacks anyhow? Well, I wasn't really sure about the stickings. I didn't. I didn't know that you literally used super glue. I thought they meant oh, stick the hook onto the line and then ride the hook. You know, I think it was a common mistake or a common misconception. Korok seeds. Yeah. Wait, so if they can't be reorbed, how do they get orbed in the first place? It wasn't you, I got it immediately. I already have a bunch of these. You don't have to hit the fan to turn it off? Anything connected can... I mean, you should have seen Banana earlier. They're like, you'll never make a boat. And then I made a boat. Apparently it was the most beautiful boat anyone's ever seen. I find it easiest to make a cross to put the Koroks on so they have a nice view while I deliver them. That doesn't sound right. Something seems a little off about that tactic. I used, no, it was two pieces of wood and a sail. And it looked just like you would see in the movies. Oh, we're so close to the blue, okay. What is this? What the heck? Oh, it's an upside down minecart. I think we're going to need two fans for this one. Yeah, uh, fact, because I didn't learn about the literal super glue aspect of it the very first time you're supposed to do that outside of the shrine where's it going why is it going up by itself what the hell um i had to just run up these things one of these things wait i could just run up this one too no this one's oh you can just walk up it i want to ride this Uh-oh, hang on a second. Some Okay, I didn't... Okay, that's a messed up beginner's trap. What the heck? Why would they do that? That's, that's actually evil. Where the heck am I? I am so confused. 
Where am I right now? I don't remember this big orb thing. I didn't expect half the track to just be missing suddenly. I was like, oh, it's a track, and this time I have to use two fans. But I'm confused about where I am now. I didn't assume that the track was going to be evil, okay? Yeah, how the heck am I supposed to get up there now? Out of these again, and then I'm gonna have to just like walk across. Ow. Okay, so now that I know freaking hole in the track, I need to bridge that. not long enough. Can that even stick? I'm gonna need two fans. Get up the hill. Oh, not like that. You can only stick things that glow orange. There's a hook nearby. I mean, yeah, but we're not doing a hook puzzle right now. We're doing a bridge the gap puzzle. One of these isn't long enough, but if I combine two of them. That's still not long enough. How freaking long is this? Why are there carts? I don't know. Attach the hook to the cart? It looks like it's kind of low to the ground for that.
Oh, they can't fit in the hole, right? That's But this is just longer than it won't fall off. Is that what we're getting at? I don't know what anyone's saying, honestly. I'm getting a lot of suggestions right now. This looks like it might work, right? Because then it won't fall off. Put a mine cart on my shield. All right. Oh, that's not long enough. Oh, it's only the one side. So I should have put the both hooks on top of each other. On one side. I forgot how the gap worked exactly. a second because I think that would work if it's the two hooks right well f um no I think it literally worked the problem is I put one on each side instead of two on top of each other wait which way am I going I think I ran out of a uh, fan, so I just have to r run across, actually. It's gonna be harder, because it's very narrow. Why would they- why would they spawn you back here, and you could, like, run out of stuff? I don't appreciate that. like a horse trotting no yeah I know that's what I'm saying I should have put two oh no I don't have any hooks anymore right because I lost everything so now I just have to walk up it damn it I was so close oh wait did they drop there no the one I needed is fell Yeah, I'm a, three mine cards might do it, but I think that the... It's too bad, because I'm pretty sure if I had done those hooks right, it would have worked. What the hell's that? Oh, I don't have a fan, though. That's fine. Have to walk, which I 
I don't know why everyone's so pessimistic. I think it would have worked. I thought this game was all about creativity. Compact, oh, the, the orbs. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, let me just. I should talk. Yeah, I think because it's at an incline, it's harder to walk up that one. Although, apparently, you have to walk past the other one if you run out of parts uh, and stuff. No, I forgot about I forgot I had uh orbs. this works because we're out of hooks. Oh dang it, I needed two fans. Oh well. No, yeah, you do need two fans. Or maybe... I needed two fans. I forgot. Well, it's... No, facts right. It's not long enough. But I don't have any more carts. The other one fell. And the hooks are gone too. Can you just straight up get, get screwed over in this game because you didn't. because you weren't smart enough to do it right without running out of stuff? Because I don't know how. if this doesn't reach. Clearly. The intended way is now out of my reach because I freaking dropped those hooks. Maybe I could use this to help. Gave me no choice, guys. We had to do it like that. I mean, obviously, I had a choice at one point, but then all my I lost all my materials. <clears throat> yeah, and I and I I I goofed up. I know. I screwed up. I thought about crouch walking, but I wasn't sure if that would maybe move him in an awkward way that would like make him fall off. I think the reason why I was falling off earlier is because when it first starts inclining up, there's like a weird 
part that was just slippery. Well, then maybe there were many choices, but I'm not. I wasn't smart enough to figure them out, so I don't know. What I tried my best. Did this? I I, I kind of just realized how this game's gonna be a problem now, because there's some games where. If I had unlimited chances, maybe I could figure it out. But if you have limited resources, like those hooks, for instance, then I'm going to just end up... This is probably going to... This is the tutorial, so... <laughs> I think that sets a precedent for how the rest of the game is probably going to go in regards to puzzles that require materials that you can lose. Oh! Look at this! A cooking food pot almost any time. Last for cooking one recipe only. Oh, okay. So they do let you cook wherever you want, but it's it's a consumable, all right. Because I guess they wanted the other cooking pots to still be used. Yet another example of something I critiqued in the Breath of the Wild playthrough that they added in at the last second. Funny how that happened. Banana has a theory that all the stuff I complained about in Breath of the Wild, they, it made them change it in the sequel. Alright, Sean, thank you for dropping in. I appreciate it. Hope you have a good sleep. Come on, because look, now I'm back down where I was. I'm sorry, I'm really aggravated from that. Because I fell. Now what? I have to go walk over the freaking railing all over again? sucks why would they let that happen and i know it's my fault i know i fell but just respawn me back up i don't know that's, that's really aggravating i don't think i could climb up there because i'm pretty sure i tried climbing up something some could i have climbed up that it looked like there was a lot of like cliff edges that I wouldn't have been able to get up to. I don't have much stamina meals now. No, I have one because <laughs> I had to eat the other ones because I kept getting hurt. But even aside from the stamina mills, it looked like there was just parts of the cliff that were would have been unclimbable. Boy, I'm actually really frustrated right now. What? Ay ay ay! It literally would have been better if they just that surrounded by death pits so if you fall it just resets you up there with some health missing. This is like the first time that this has really happened by the way. I haven't had any other problem where like a puzzle really screwed me over. It's th This is the very first time that's happening in almost three hours. I 
I'm trying to go to the blue shrine because that's the last shrine I have. I already did the other two. And this, I've looked around, it seems like this is literally the only way to get up there. I mean, I know everyone's being ambiguous, like, oh, there's other ways to do things. I don't, I don't, I didn't see other ways to get up there. And if I have to, like, go around, like, a whole other path that takes, like, an hour or something, I'd really rather not do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to slowly walk up again. I just re remembered you're supposed to like manually save in this game as well, huh? So I should probably do that when I get up there. And then at least if I fall down again, I could just reload it. Oh my god, come on! Christ. Scary. Oh, come on! <laughs> Doc, I wish you were here for the first two hours. Things were like, I swear they were going so much more smoothly. You're saying if I go to the left, then somehow I end up back over up here? Or, you know what, let me see if I can climb like I was being suggested that I could climb. I mean, it doesn't... Oh, over here. See, I was thinking about, I was trying to get back up here, but I wasn't thinking that I probably actually want to actually go over there. Like, my instinct was like, I fell down from this, so therefore I probably want to go up to this. But it doesn't even look like that connects to that anyway, so I'm an idiot. The whole me trying to get back up there, and there wasn't even anything up there actually. There was, what was there, a chest with five arrows in it or something? I was just so trying to... My brain could only register like, okay, I need to get up to where I just fell down. I wasn't even... I should have... Uh... Thought a few more steps ahead, like I was playing chess. I really hope I. Can. Really? Are you serious? So even if I get up there, I'm gonna be too cold. So banana lied. Banana said it's sunny all the time in this one. Apparently not. I don't think the stamina food's gonna be enough. The one I freaking ate probably would have been, but I I was healing myself. There's a Cave you can go through, there's some chilies nearby. They really seem to have designed this to where there are no resting points for someone who doesn't have any extra stamina. This is gonna waste this, but what choice do I have? Oh, actually, that might be just enough. 
Okay. Well, thank God I had that. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh my god, that would have sucked. What's the X? Is that freaking pirate treasure? There's pirate treasure up here. Oh, it does nothing. Okay, cool. I don't know what that is. It's a freaking dandelion. Also, I'm dying. I should have just ran through here. Oh, wait, I can do a torch or something, right? So I can hang on. Uh, okay. Triple bow. Fire thing. Shoot the ground. Wait, no, not shoot the ground. You have to shoot something that can catch on fire. Something that catches on fire. Oh, come on! It was right there! It's not catching on fire. Okay, never mind. I was trying to be smart. But I'm dumb. I was trying to catch, like, a tree on fire so then I could use my torch to catch my torch on fire so then I can, like, have heat to not die, but I... I'm not good at actually coming up with things that work. Okay, this is even higher up. How are you supposed to get there? Okay, save. I died. I keep forgetting I don't have a stupid glider too. The freaking glider was like the best part of the first game. I don't know why Link was going around not having that thing. Okay, it let, thankfully it at least put us up here. Well, dry, when, uh, dry wood is the kind of wood you do want to start a fire with, isn't it? Usually. Good thing I have a minute of hot weather attack left. Alright. Whoa, I haven't seen bomb flowers since like... What, like Wind Waker? Actually, Skyward Sword probably has that too, I just haven't played through it yet. After my adventure in uh, Breath of the Wild, I would have my glider with me 24-7. And actually, in caves, there's plenty of times where there's like large drops in a cave. So it would be a good place to have it. Like people who go splunking and stuff, sometimes that's like one of the most dangerous parts. This does seem like it's actually- what the hell is that? Okay. No. No. I only have one of those left, I don't want to waste it. I'll, I'll use this to get that does. I'll just fight it. Now. Oh! This thing has a lot of hope. Come on, I'm ready. Scar Return has the best bomb flowers.
Didn't I get the thing it dropped? Uh, a like? Oh, that was a like like? Yeah, I didn't see that, I guess, because it was behind the chest. So that would have eaten my shield. Well, actually, the like likes like to eat the metal shield specifically, right? Everyone's favorite enemy. Do they eat the wooden ones too? I guess I forgot. Sometimes I forget you start off with the wooden shield in the NES Zelda because it's like made up of like four blocks. Otto said a good Zelda Valentine's card. I'd like, like to. Hmm. Hmm. Wish I had my glider so bad. I can't be the other, the only person who's like instinctively tried to glide, right? Because that's like such burned into my brain. Where do I? Saw an opening somewhere, but I can't remember where that was. Get around that. I did see, but it was higher up, and I'm, I was trying to figure out how to reach it. I was trying to figure out how to get up here, but now I'm like a little worried. Oh, there doesn't look like, hmm. I don't think this is gonna work, is it? Maybe that little hole down there? No. I'm just not going to make it. Wait. Okay, I don't know why I thought this was higher up. You know what? Your stamina does go down slower in some cases in this version, though, it seems like. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Try that again. I don't know why it looked like I couldn't reach it. Oh, come on. No. Come on, Link. I was not asking you to jump off like that. Why'd you do that? Ay. Okay. This time, please don't. I don't know what it was, because I was climbing up those things, and then when I looked over at it, somehow I completely... You know what? I must have been at, like, a very weird, specific angle. Let me see. Here, because I can see... There's a path from it. I, I was like up somewhere at a weird angle, I guess, where I couldn't quite see the path to the right. I almost made it by climbing, but I didn't quite have enough. I feel like a free shield. Oh wait, I could probably make- I could use bomb arrows, huh? I just realized that because I was picking up those bomb flowers. 
Open your yap. Cool. So, the distance you have to be to make him open his weak spot is also too dangerous of a distance to use bomb arrows on. Which is a nice little combo right there. So I guess you're not supposed to use bomb arrows on that guy. My bad. I thought because we had just gotten a bunch of them that that's what they were for. Think, please. Like literally right here. They had them there. Okay, so you can shoot him with a bomb arrow while his mouth's closed. One. Damn it! That time I missed. Oh, he does like. Ah, I was about to throw it. You know, Sword, there, there may in fact be this technique for solving a hunger called eat did the food. It may in fact exist. Flame and Okay, I'm gonna pay attention. Because I know I was like closing these uh prematurely. Okay. Equip or take out a shield from your inventory. That it? See, that's what I was expecting. Every time I would see those, it was like, inhale to breathe air. So that's why I was like, just kind of closing those quickly. Like that one was. Oh, great, unbearable cold, my favorite. Um. Is it still cold out here? It's up there, but I'm gonna be cold when I go out. How do I even get up there? Hang on a second. Was I not done climbing the cave? Is that still like way too high? Open the chest? Did I not open it? These are chests, right? Third chest? <laughs> I fuse my sword with the chest. This thing? Oh, can I use the flame emitter to stay warm? How would that work? Portable pot. So if I take one of this out, it's just gonna be like a flame thing that I can hold it and it shoots fire. I would think, right? 
Oh, hang on a second. I have like one fire arrow left. If I can, s if there's anything in here, I can set on fire. You know, hang on. Let me manually save before we do anything we might regret. Bottomless cave. It wasn't that bottomless. Oh, you can fuse it to a weapon or shield? No way. I thought that these were just for like, like the fan was for the minecart. So I thought that these were just things you would have out that you would put to things. So. Oh, I have to drop it first. So there's that. Whoa. Damn, it uses up a lot of energy. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do that while I'm climbing though. I'm just gonna have to get up there quick and then start using it, stay warm. It's not working. It's not actually working, unfortunately. Well, I tried guys. How much damage does the cold do? Like half a heart? God damn it, where is the uh the other way? There it is, Jesus Christ. I hope there's something in there that keeps me warm. Can light things on fire they, i tried i actually earlier i tried lighting some stuff on some uh greenery on fire that was in the snow and i just wasted a bunch of fire arrows so i actually don't think that would work here <gasps> you made it here extend okay so this is a new ability right I'm worried now though because I don't. Well, this is the last shrine, so as long as we can teleport, we could just teleport out of here. Oh, did things catch on fire, actually? I mean, whatever caught on fire, I don't think it was heating me up very well. Ascend. Move upward through solid material and emerge on top of it. Freaking UFO abduction. Mm. This is the ascend ability. It lets you travel through what's directly above you to ascend through it and emerge on the top of it. You'll find it quite useful in all sorts of places and situations. Mm. Use ascend and receive the blessing from Brian. That sounds like they got the idea from Smash Brothers. And you could like up B through certain platforms. Oh. Uh. What is this, Jumanji? That guy just lies to Link and the You could just use this unlimitedly? This seems kinda of Broken, isn't it? I assume it can't be too tall of an object, but okay, I don't want this guy to kill me. I don't know how much damage this guy's gonna do. Oh, I have this. Oh, it's badly damaged. But right, I can't actually use this as a shield. I gotta remember that. Damn it. I think right now. You dead? Wait! 
both of my shields have the flame thing on it? Why do they both have it? I only had one flame emitter. Can someone exp Is that just... What? You f it fuses with all of your shields? I happen to also pick up a shield. I'm pretty sure I had two shields and one of them wasn't that. That's weird. Like I happened to pick one, another one up. Wait, so you made me make that when I already had one? How could you do this to me? Because I don't remember picking that up. I, I, would, I thought that'd be an object that I would recognize. I think I have like five of those already. Uh, I'll trade for it. I'll just glide from... Actually, I probably don't need to use uh, that. Because now I don't have like a proper shield. use that one guys or did I miss something? We're underwater somehow, even though we're inside. Well, the difference though is when I'm using the fire shield it dies in like five seconds. a part of a burrito. Ultra of hand is by far the most complex one. It's true, I didn't realize it's super glued. That was the ultimate complexion. Receive restored some power to that new arm of yours. Mm. The door into the Temple of Time should now open for you. Oh, okay, see ya. Alright, let's, uh... How do you get to the map, actually? Is there another button for the map? Can someone help me out with that? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. All right, so I mean, if I had the glider, I would just honestly go there manually, but since I don't, and I'm freezing anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead. And... Oh, you can't teleport, okay. Well. Cool. Not sure how I feel about that one. <laughs> Oh, there's a, I was I didn't even recognize them. I was like looking for it. It's not letting me. Pressing A isn't doing anything.
Are we sure we can teleport to it? Gonna suck getting there otherwise. Okay, I guess. How do I even... I don't even know how to go about this. It looks like it's designed to, for you to glide down and everything. It's like taunting. <laughs> I tried climbing, it didn't work out so well. <laughs> Turns out there was ice there. But the main problem is going down. Like, I can't go down very well because I don't have a glider. There's a little ledge you bend through. Oh. I hope this leads- I mean, I'm kind of in a panic- like, it's hard for me to really even think right now because I'm freaking dying every second. I might have actually noticed this otherwise. It's one of those things that are just kind of frustrating as well. Okay. Here they are. Well, I'm glad you told me that. Okay, see, now I can actually take my time and figure out where I'm going. Keep going. I'm, I'm going. Don't have to worry about that. What is this, a flying device? Uh, Walter's fine. He's Walter. Put some charges in the gotcha machine. What's up? What do you mean by a charge? The gliding device. The Zonai charges you have. Like electricity? Oh, these things. <laughs> Holy crap. Jesus. Wing. Don't a device you can harness lift to ride the wind. Okay, so this is a it's just a wing, right? So that means harness lift. Hmm. So I literally just How do I get it going without losing it? This have to be really fast. Okay, all right. It didn't actually fly. Freaking tricked me. All right, well, I tried. And I drowned. How did I drown? Was my health that low? There's a runway down where you used to take off. The water was too cold, okay. 
Yeah, because I looked like I had more health than that, so that caught me off guard. Oh, there's a there's one right here. Oh, there's a bunch right here. What the hell? Okay. But I love ice water, it should make me stronger. I need to get out here quick, I'm freaking freezing. Oh, here we go. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm literally gonna freeze it up. Oh, god damn it, that's what it is. I forgot about my chance. I don't know why in my brain I was like... Forgot about the sweatpants. I think I was thinking that maybe the weather had changed or something. Well, if I had a fan and I put a fan on one side of the wing, I could probably turn the... Uh... Oh wait, I could just do that. Have I been up here before? <laughs> so you need to find runways for those things. Well, I guess that makes sense because the mine carts you need to find mine tracks. It's not like you could just ride a mine cart anywhere. I saw that guy here, but I don't. Went, vanished. You can put a couple of fans on it to fly apart. You guys saw that guy, right? I swear. There was a guy like on the ledge somewhere and now he's gone. Ourselves in a sea of clouds. Interesting. That would mean we're at quite an altitude. As you heard from the Stuart construct, this kind of this land is the garden of time. Mm. Okay. Anyways, that's where we need to go. So. on my back. Okay, we made it back. It's a miracle. Food to cook. Oh, that's not a pot. What is it? A toasty sky shrew. Oh, he can cook without a pot. I roasted that, but it's yours if you want. Thanks. These guys are very special. They don't need a pot like we do. He roast well roasting is a form of cooking, isn't it? Like roast beef. So now, I should be able to get in here. 
Oh, wait, wait, wait. So we can cook without a pot. I'm... Was I supposed to ask him about roasting? Because I wanted to say thanks to him. Like, genuinely, I was like, Oh, I'm going to pick the thanks option because I want to tell him thanks. So I guess I picked the wrong thing. I should have been less grateful. No, that's what I'm saying. I didn't realize you could do that without a pot. But... Ew, it's just the big booger that fell out of uh, Billy's nose at the start of the game. Why would I want to touch that? Semantics aside. So I can put I can I can roast food by putting it near a fire, gotcha. It's Helga. She stills his arm. Why, thank you, Link. Zoldo. Did you notice that Link stole some of Zelda's hair in this game? Because her hair is shorter and his hair is longer. What's up with that? Oh! Reverse an object's movement until it goes back to where it was. What the hell, Prince of Persia? I like how the first three are like recognizable objects and then the fourth one it looks like it's like some type of alien kanji. Hmm. Uh, recall the ability to reverse the movement of an object through time. Zelda has vanished as well. What you saw, it's a mystery even to me. Perhaps it was a sort of echo, one that reflects her, her sheer will. <laughs> that you've now been given this ability, no doubt it will prove important. It says Monado Buster in Japanese. Does it actually? Hey, usually I get healed after I get one of those. Mr. Krabs? Hmm. 
But I can't climb in any of this stuff, huh? a secret. Oh, this is an upgrade thing. I recognize it. That's it. Is it not even going to heal me? Let alone let me upgrade? What? Okay, what tutorial was that supposed to be? Is this a joke? Oh, I just got that one power, didn't I? Oh my god, I literally forgot. Um, I swear to god I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I don't- I don't know, like... I think because this was- it felt like the end of a shrine... ...that I didn't... Um... Oh god damn it! I don't. They took. Hmm. So this is like the master sword variation of the first hmm. game. I think it's because it felt like that was the end of the shrine, and usually when it's the start of the shrine, it's in my head like, okay, you got to use this new ability. But since it was the end of the shrine, I like completely forgot about it. I guess. It took. It took like the little bit of health that I had. There's one more shrine on this island. There you can get another blessing. And then I can upgrade my health. If you add that to the other blessings you received at the shrines and offer them all up to the goddess, you might just find your way forward after all. I like how the, the game expects you to have full health right here because most people who are playing this aren't a dingus. So it's like, wow, three hearts isn't enough. And then he explains you need to upgrade for that extra heart. But I literally had the bare minimum that I could give without dying. Um, no, I used I used the abilities at the shrines. There was just that the the super glue one that I missed. Everything's dripping. Raw pad lets you travel to certain places in- oh, okay. I see. You'll find the last of this island's shrines around there somewhere. Oh! He's gone. Okay. Uh, sorry. I already told you how to fix this. Room of Awakening. Room of Awakening. Isn't that where we start off in the first game? Well, why do I have to be the one to fix it? I've given you the tools. You know what they say about teaching someone to fish? Oh, I know what to do. I, I literally know exactly what we're supposed to do. Well, actually, I want to check this out real quick, see if there's any secrets. Nope, looks like... Okay. I know exactly what we came back here for, I think. I shouldn't sound that confident, but I have a good idea. These things. I spent, like, the first, like, five minutes trying to get up here. Uh-oh. How do you... And this explains it. God oh, damn it. I mean... How long does that last? Okay, hang on. I need to jump better. I need to wait for it to get closer. I think that's my problem. My depth perception's failing me again. There we go. But then what's up here? 
Oh, well then we're just going that way. You can use your... Okay. That makes sense, because in the other game, you could use your, your abilities. That makes sense, yeah. Anyway, look at me. Give a man a fish, and they have a fish, and are happy. That's the same. You get an upgraded version later on called Total Recall. Hey, look. We found it. We found that one quick. This over here. Friend. This is a crystal refinery. I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Do I want that? A hundred? Jeez, I thought I had a lot. I have like 15 maybe? How do you check for that? 70. Close enough. Big shrine, big shrine. I'll probably wrap up after this shrine, because I assume that'll kind of wrap up the tutorial area, but uh. I do have kind of a lot of work I have to do tonight. Because this one professor insists that we show up tomorrow, even though it's finals week. We have all these finals going on. I don't have any? Oh. Well... That's going to be even harder then, isn't it? Right, I have to go take care of Walter real quick, and then I will uh, come back and finish this up. Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. Whoa. Was I supposed to catch that? Wait a minute, this seems really familiar. Ah. Yeah, this is very similar to, um... You just stop time entirely when you use that ability, don't you? Also, hey, Uirusu. Welcome. <laughs> Jesus! I didn't realize she was gonna do that. There's an unlimited range on objects you can recall. Or arrow. 
out. Is this game that much better than the original, or is it more of an extension with some cool add-ons? Um. Uh. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still learning, honestly. How does... Okay. I... Oh. Oh. Because you... You technically reversed one of them. Okay, I see what happened there. Interesting. Whoa, why are these shifting around? Did they always do that? Shifting around like Rubik's Cubes? Hopefully I'll feel less, uh, intimidated and lost when I get out of the tutorial area, because I feel like the same thing happened to me in the first game. I felt really restricted in the first game until I got out of the Great Plateau, and then I felt a lot more open. So hopefully once we get out of this area, we'll have a similar... Type of thing. All right, so now we just go back to the Temple of Time. Uh, or we'll teleport to the nearest Temple of Time. I haven't played Skyward Sword yet, I was saving it for after this. I don't know if I'm gonna beat this. Um... This might be one of those games that I just... play a bit into, maybe at least do one of the main dungeons, and then I might kind of move on to something else, we'll see. I still need to, uh, once I play through Scarred Sword, then I'll be able to give a proper assessment of it. Wait, where am I going? Oh, that way. Might be heading to a Scarred Sword callback. You're gonna want to do the Wii version? I mean, I have that one available. I literally have the game in my room right now on Wii and the gold Wii remote and everything. So might as well, right? Was it sixty dollars? Man, Nintendo. Be Nintendo and
Beep. Ah, I could grab it. All right, whoops. <sighs> Why is it so cheap in Japan? Does everyone in Japan just already own it? Write it to the center. Why would you write it to the center though when you just go up faster? Uh, you who have conquered the shrines and claimed their light's blessing. Never mind. Do, 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 do. You don't get anything. What if the cutscene just started after that? Link dies trying to push the door open. You hate that they force you to get a heart container here? But isn't this just a callback to the whole Master Sword thing? Except you don't need freaking 13 hearts. Link's sweating so hard. Look at it. He's pushing the door so hard. He's just pouring down waterfalls. That's... Link, you need to get that checked out. I don't think people are supposed to sweat that much. It stopped finally. I see you have managed to open the door. You haven't fully recovered yet, but that is to be expected. We're almost beyond saving. By visiting the shrines and receiving their blessings, you have mitigated some of the corruption's effects. Though our time together has been brief, I am so happy that we finally met. Exactly as Zelda said. It's looking a little less ethereal at that point. I've done everything I can for her. Now it is up to you. I'm going to turn into a thousand little fireflies. Wait, this just leads to the outside again. We could have just went around the back. We got trolled. something. I thought that was like a screw I was gonna use. Or a nail, rather. the ascending thing. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, you mean on that side? 
I thought you meant when I was trying to get back up. Okay. I'm curious what's up here. Do it, you get full stuff. I don't know, I thought maybe there'd be some cool up there. There's actually some up there. Damn it, because I was starting to climb up there, but you guys made it seem like there wasn't anything up there. Alright, well now we gotta go try to check that out. I was climbing it wrong? Gosh, I can't do anything right. There's a Captain Kirk up there. Oh, so just climbing just doesn't exist anymore, basically? What the hell? That's like the whole thing that the first game like teaches you how to like get good at climbing and get like what's the point of even getting your stamina up anymore? I actually don't know how I feel about this undermining climbing now. Like I definitely appreciate that there's something to get up places easier but that is a little concerning considering how big it is in the first game you won't always have a ceiling to go up through Well, that's the whole point. I, I went through like 40 hours or whatever. <laughs> uh, like learning how to climb and then I was like concerned that now that all that training has gone out the window. That's like the very reason why it's concerning. like a Korok, don't it? Oh, I thought it was actually a pop-up right here. Okay, just because climbing wasn't difficult for you doesn't mean it wasn't for me, hey buddy. I, I get what you're saying. You're saying it doesn't it doesn't undermine it. I'm glad it doesn't. I was just concerned that it would. But I'm glad to hear that that isn't the case. to do so. I'm 
mean, gosh, guys, I just voiced one little concern. They're all just ganging up on me. Uh. Look like I can. I'm projecting. I'm actually ganging up on everyone else somehow. I've multiplied, outnumber everyone. I mean, what am I supposed to do here? It, it was just okay. I thought there was like something you an item or something. So can you get can you upgrade to get like a descend ability eventually? Cause I could really use one right about now. Actually, the glider would help. <laughs> Hopefully, it just respawns me right there. Okay, good. trick is they want me to grab the yellow orb, but what I'm supposed to do is use what I've learned to come up here. I hope this magical yellow orb transforms into a, a glider. That's what I want more than anything. says Legend of Walter Tears of the J. Whoa look, it's a little owl with a top hat. Yo, the owl with the top hat's transforming. It's like a burnt squished top hat. It's Zelda. If I played Scarred Sword, I'd be losing my shit right now. Why? Wait, was there like an owl with a burnt, squished top hat in Skyward Sword? Also, what the heck Zelda doing here all of a sudden? I thought she got zapped.
Dude, there's Minecraft in the background. Look at them blocks. It's full gig, yeah. Yellow particle effects and ticking clock sound. Okay, so we're gonna want to use the the reverse time ability to fight this dragon. Blink. I got your little hint, your little wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Blink. You must find me. I just did. You're just sending me on a wild goose chase. And Zelda's me. What the heck? Freaking Hyrule Castle has the, the bloom surrounding it all over again after all we've done. Alright, uh, would this be a good place to, 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 to take a break of that Kit Kat bar? Jump! Jump? Just in general? You better jump? Okay. And then I reverse time. Unjump. How is it directing me to jump? How on earth was that directing me to jump in any sense at all? I literally had no idea. My brain was like, I wish I could jump, but I don't have a... Oh look, I got a compass. When did, the... when did I get that, just now? You mean freaking Hyrule Castle getting all rebloomed again? I mean, I noticed that, but I didn't think I would. There would conveniently be water down here. Well, anyway, we're 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 here now. Oh my gosh! Look at Link's animation. This running animation looks so goofy. <laughs> So like over animated with his arm swinging around. I thought we were in Hyrule that whole time. I thought we were just up a little. Just like when we were in the Great Plateau, we were technically in Hyrule, right? We were just we were just above the rest of the place. materials cash for like okay next objective marker gotcha Do I remember any floating sky island? Just the Great Plateau, that's the only one to be honest. But other than that, yeah, no, I don't actually. Point. Oh, not my wooden stick. Favorite. Great Plateau was not a floating sky island. Um, Sunday one.
Because you can't get back to the Great Plateau without teleporting, right? There would always seem like it was just like above everything else. Oh, he's throwing rocks now. Ow. Dude, he dropped a bunch of these things. Oh, you can. I thought you had a teleport back up there. I guess I thought of it as this place that you you're, you can't get down from unless you my first rupee uh, unless you have the glider so I, I felt like getting up to it was also like comparatively hard whoops I don't have a glider I remember that I can't even speak of it or else I throw myself off the Hylian Shroom is the final boss whoa look it's like a uh, mother duck, a little babby's following behind. Shroom is MVP. Doesn't it just get, uh, heal you? Does it do something else in this one? Her secret little pawn of destiny. There's a shrine up there. Right, shrines are. Yeah. Are they directing us to this fortified town? Island shrooms are vital to getting the best armor in the game. You make a, an armor out of mushrooms. Look out, Landy. that what dosha that hair those eyes duh duh doc oh oh she was on duh, 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 duh. she was stuttering dr Uda. the swordsman the swordsman has returned why go in the front door well usually you use the front door when you go places fact oh she's not tiny anymore now where have you been? Linky, you're not a ghost, are you? Did she have voice acting in the, the original, like full hey. voice acting? That looks interesting. Why did she assume we were dead? Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Oh, so she had full voice acting in the original game? I, I didn't recall that. I, I know they all make noises, but... So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy... It was only like a few hours. Four hours, suddenly actually. suddenly reanimates. Then, Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. She got zapped, yes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Oh, so she naturally aged? Then, later, she didn't, like, actually cure Island, herself? She's just naturally to got to be this old now? You get the pool or, like, physically? From an unusual creature. And learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rob. 
The master sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice and find your way here. Somehow I don't think it's been a hundred years. What? Look, Link's sweating again. Link just sweats way too much in this one. What happened to him? What? He needs to start eating some uh, antiperspirant. Are you saying you came from up there? Like, please, this is unreasonable. This Raru you met, I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one in the same? So much of this doesn't make sense yet. But I am certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. Castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you've heard the princess speak to you? Okay, so she did, she did use some tech. Okay. Um, eating cement. Did I say that? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, look at him. Maybe he should start eating it. It's his only. Yeah. Uh, she gave you a clear message to find her. If that was truly the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. And you need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you to do. Captain in charge of the search is in pause. Work with him to find the prince as quickly as you yes. can. I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around there. Which is concerning to say the least, but we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. Counting on you, Winky. Was that nerdy girl that is working for her oh look at this we got like a little bio um was she in the first game i don't recognize that character it's because i was uh recently in water it wasn't that recently highest authority of ancient technology she served princess zelda's family for much of her life da -da -da. she used herself as a test subject fixed herself Clearly she's, uh, fine-tuned it so she's still younger than what she's supposed to look like, though. Alright. So, this seems like a good stopping point. Um, I'll try to play more of this tomorrow, if I can. Um... So I'm hoping that this is kind of like the first game where... Once I'm now out in the open, things will feel a bit like I'll be able to uh, stretch my legs out more and do some more stuff. And then, you know, just go around doing some trines and stuff. Hopefully I can get a hang of all these new abilities as well. Um... Yeah, all right, I'm gonna wrap up now. Thanks everyone for joining. I uh, hope you have a good night, and I'll catch you next time. Goodbye. Peace out. Good night. <laughs>